Hi there. Chad Brown with Home Waters Real Estate. Uh, it is May 14th. We're one week into restrictions being lifted on realtors and uh, what a week it's been. So we were all um, very busy before restrictions came off, just on the phone, on video meetings, doing what we could to um, mostly work with buyers. It was pretty tough to list properties when you can't get in and photograph and stuff. But May 7th, restrictions were listed and basically the hounds were unleashed. It has been uh, really, really busy, um, overwhelmingly so to some degree. So it's almost one of those uh, be careful what you wish for scenarios. So we're all uh, working long days right now which is fantastic it's been really nice to get out on the road and go uh, see some people in person during showings um, and just kind of get on with life I think by nature realtors are kind of entrepreneurial minded social individuals and to be locked down for us like a lot of you out there was uh, really tough I think the toughest part of it is just again not having that good long full day of work in and kind of the satisfaction of being tired at the end of that day. So great to be back to work and the market seems to be as hot as ever. So that's what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about here now that we're a weekend and have some numbers and can give you a sense of it. So um, let's talk a couple couple of numbers. So um, we're, we've put a lot of resources and time into our website, homewaters.net. It is um, probably, again, tough to get stats on all the sites, but whenever we do look into it, by far the most viewed brokerage website in Northern Michigan, um, doing close to a million page views a year. So we watch those analytics very close and it helps give us a great tool to see what interest is going to be, and then we can kind of project that down the road into what the market's actually going to be. So we've been watching our web analytics and it's shown that the interest has been way up. So that's great, but we also have a big chunk of the population at home spending time in their computer and who knows if they're just tire kickers or not. So we really got to look now at how that's going to translate to the market itself. So on our web analytics for this week, which is our first week of opening versus the same week last year, our web traffic is up 34%. That's a ton. Um, we get about 65,000 unique visitors a year, um, which is a lot of people using the website, and we're up 34% same week last year versus this year um, in a time when the weather's pretty cold and kind of junky. So it was uh, really impressive to see that jump in web analytics. So um, then I wanted to look and see, okay, what's the market looking like from a statistical standpoint? So I went into uh, Northern Great Lakes Realtors MLS, which is one of the six MLSs I belong to, and uh, it represents the Traverse region, kind of that five county northwestern region, central Michigan, primarily Isabella County into Clare County and some of the other surrounding areas, and then like Tawas area or that kind of mid lake here on shoreline area. So it's a good representative um, MLS that gives us a lot of different markets so we can kind of generalize a bit. I pulled up properties that had been on the market for eight to 14 days. So that's gonna reflect the week before the restrictions came off, uh, that week of the market leading up to May 7th. During that week, 95 new listings hit the market. And in that same week, three of those had accepted offers in them that same week. Now it takes a lot to get a property under, under contract in one week. If you think about it, I've got to list that property, get some showings on the property, get an offer, negotiate that offer, and then go into the MLS and reflect that that status has been changed. That in itself takes a few days. So keep that in mind as I talk about these numbers, but we are comparing kind of time frame to time frame, so it should, should wash out. So at any rate, 95 listings hit the market the week before we opened up. Three of those were under contract, just a hair under 3%. So let's call it 3% of the properties that hit the market went under contract that week. Fast forward a week now, um, we're into May 7th through May uh, 13th. So this last week of the market, 237 properties hit the market, almost 150% jump. So that was terrific. I think it'll be even more next week because if, again, we use on our higher end listings, professional photography, that takes some time to coordinate. By the time you gather information and get it in the MLS, it can take a week or so from the time you've got that green light. So we'll probably see even more listings hit next week. But at any rate, 237 listings last week, 33 of those were marked as under contract um, as of this morning. I guarantee if I went in there now, there'd be even more throughout the day. We're going to get a lot. And then obviously over the next week, a lot of those will go pending. But that's 13% of the properties that in the same week they were listed went under contract. That's terrific. I mean, that means there's a ton of buyers out there. 
Um, just to give you a specific example of what we're seeing in the market, or maybe two examples, we listed a lakefront lot on Cedar Hedge Lake, um, a small lot, but nice dry buildable lot with good hard bottom frontage, listed it at 149.9, um, had multiple showings the first few days, had multiple offer situation the third day, put it under contract at over list price within three days. Uh, and so that was great. Um, Yesterday, we brought a house to the market, a three bedroom, two bath house over kind of by interlocking. Um, we put it on the market at 189.9, which we thought was kind of the higher end based on comps we had seen. Um, and put it on the market yesterday morning. First showing was last night. We have seven showings throughout the day today. Very confident we'll have multiple offers again on that one by day's end and, and have to uh, work to do the best we can for our seller with those multiple offers. So we're also seeing that on the buyer side. Uh, Mandy and I have been out showing property. Mandy in particular in downtown Traverse City has two clients right now. And almost every house that came on that they had an interest in is already under contract within the last week or two. So they're going to have to be really aggressive when they identify the right house. Looks like they might've found one today. And you know, if that buyer doesn't really immediately come big and, and get that property, they're going to miss out. So I bring this up because we have had a lot of calls from people speculating on the strength of the market, feeling, you know, that the market was going to drop, that the economic impact of this is going to hurt real estate dramatically. And I can't tell you what's going to be happening six months from now. All we can do is tell you what we're seeing today and how to react to that. So while if this continues to linger and things don't open up and there's spikes and all this other then yeah, maybe long-term we're going to see some drop from this. But I'll tell you right now, the market is as hot, if not hotter than it was before these regulations went into place, kind of shutting things down. So that's very encouraging for us, very encouraging for our sellers. Still a tough market for buyers. You know, it is frustrating to want to take the time and be thorough and identify the right properties and mull it about you know, you really have to be putting yourself in a position to do all of that in advance of looking at properties so that when you see the right one, you can pull the trigger and go strong immediately and make sure you're the buyer for that property. Um, so that's kind of what things are looking like right now. I'll give another update in a couple of weeks, maybe once we have some more numbers. But um, right now, it looks like we're going to be very strong. Um, lots of showings on the calendar and um, tons of people coming, coming to look at property. So the other thing I wanted to make note of is uh, just how great it's been um, to see our group of professionals working together. So we're fortunate as realtors to have a really strong professional organization um, behind us, the National Association of Realtors and the Michigan Association of Realtors. Every agent that is a realtor belongs to a local association as well. And throughout this whole thing, our associations have done just an incredible job. First with working with the governor's office to try to uh, outline ways in which we can get back to work and do it safely and not increase the risk of spreading uh, the virus to those who would be susceptible to it. Um, and then also just providing information, best practices, um, addendums that go to that, outlining um, you know, recommended best practices for our buyer and seller clients, and then giving the freedom to brokers too to, to implement those restrictions that they feel um, definitely meet healthcare guidelines, but um, also you know, there's liability involved. So I don't know, our association's just done a phenomenal job, I think, at both the the state level and the national level, and then most of the local associations too have done a wonderful job. And then also just wanted to thank fellow realtors. You know, realtors get a knock a lot of times, um, but I'll tell you that, you know, in the Traverse area in particular where, I, where we do a lot of business, but you know, over in Grayling too, it's just a overall a great community of people who are very professional, very conscientious, and just hardworking people. And I think, you know, the showings we had today was a great example. We've got, you know, we had our first showing scheduled on this house that we're having seven showings on today. And you think, my goodness, seven, seven different parties in and out of that house in one day is a recipe for, you know, disaster in terms of spreading this virus. And, um, you know, the governor's order requires that there's no more than four people in the house at the same time, that all uh, showings are done by appointment only. Um, and then on top of that, our association has recommended guidelines 
in part with CDC in terms of recommending that masks are worn, uh, recommending that hand sanitizers used or gloves worn in and out of each showing, limit touching of surfaces, all of those, those things that we know at this point to reduce uh, the risk of spread. So as the showing started to stack up on this house today, seven in one day, you know, kind of one right on top of another hour after hour, we reached out to all the agents who were showing uh, the property through the software that we all use and just made a note to them saying, listen, we've got showing stacking up one after another. Please strictly be in that property when you're scheduled to be there. And if you can't, let us know and we'll reschedule it. We don't want overlap of people coming in and out of the house in person. So please show that only during your time that you were scheduled. And then for those agents in the middle showings, we said, just leave the lights on for the next agent. You have a showing after you, so just don't worry about it. Leave the lights on. We reached out to the last agent who's gonna be showing it today and said, if you wouldn't mind, please turn off the lights of the property. Yours is the last showing of the day. Without exception, every realtor reached out and said, thanks for letting me know. We'll be very cautious. Um, you know, I'll let you know if I can't be there, whatever it is. I mean, this is the, the coordination of uh, me and Mandy both working together and then seven different agents trying to schedule showings for multiple buyers. And it, it's just a great community of people. And it's obvious that most of the realtors overwhelmingly are um, conscientious about doing the right thing through this to ensure that we slow the spread, ensure that what we're doing out there in the world with our clients isn't going to lead to the spread of, of more of this so that we can all get back to more of the things that we all love to do. So um, that's the update. Week one down, we'll see what the future brings. I see warm weather in the forecast, which is amazing. It's been terribly cold up here. So hopefully that gives us the opportunity to uh, get outside a little bit more and, and actually show properties in the sunshine and warm weather. So thanks so much for listening. Uh, wish you well and uh, be good out there. Bye-bye.